girlfriends, I'm Beyond Grenade, and you're watching Beyond Grenade today, and today is my birthday. That's right, today I'm turning 21 years old. Yeah, I know, I look pretty good for my age. Okay. I'm not turning 21. This is the big 3-0, 30 year old birthday. Ooh, 20 anything just sounds so much better, but th th yeah, well, I'll work on it. But in honor of my birthday, I thought it'd be fun today to do a video actually inspired by my friend Swoop. She just started a roast your old hairstyles challenge. This is Martha. Martha enjoys, you know, barbecues at the church picnic. Mom, you played me. My mom literally took a black pen on the photo. <laughs> All right, like I said, let's see if we can get other channels to do this Roast Your Old Hairstyles Challenge. I'm gonna challenge Miss Bianca Renee and so that's what we're gonna do today. But I went to my parents' house and I went through a million boxes of photos because I'm the firstborn, so there's plenty to choose from. But I kind of realized I didn't really have a lot of crazy hairstyles. I've always been pretty lazy. Just like now, my hair has always been down in middle school, it was always half up, half down. When I was younger, I was always in a ponytail. And that was kind of it. But my hair has changed a lot from, you know, my early ages to now. So I'm actually going to be more showing you, like, the evolution of my curly hair today. And if I'm going to roast anything, it's probably going to be my fashion. So let's get started. All right, Maestro, let's take it from the top of the day I was born, May 3rd, 1989. As you can see from the couple flowers in this photo, my birth was definitely a big deal. But here is me as a baby, and as you can see, my hair is actually straight. Yeah, I'm an imposter. Hold up, am I laying on a satin pillowcase? Man, I've been doing it right all my life. Here's a photo of my parents. Yes, my dad's hair is laid. But the funny thing is, he used to wear it in a huge afro, but in this photo, it's pressed straight. And my mom actually has straight hair, but she has a perm, so it just looks curly. But his afro and her straight hair is what made my curls. But yeah, I did come out with straight hair, and then I was just, you know, kind of chilling around, waiting for it to get curly. But then sooner or later, those curls started to form. Now I have to show you this picture. I'm not saying that the artist her uh, copied me. I'm not saying that you know, I was first and she was inspired by me. I can't say that because she literally wasn't born yet. But I mean, we all know who did it first. And look at this little like Grinch mohawk situation going on in this photo. One of the very common themes that I noticed throughout my photos was bows. My mom would love to throw a bow in our hair. <laughs> my hair actually has been curly my entire life. So for special occasions, instead of straightening my hair, I would love to dress up. I got the horses in the back, horse stock is attached. What? <laughs> what is going on in this photo? I've never really liked the saying, living your best life. But in this photo, I'm obviously living my best life. This was like my little Hillary Banks era going on here. And this was when I pretty much thought and knew that I was going to be a model. Like, look at these poses. Like, uh, stunt on them. Can't tell me nothing. Like, literally, I'm mad. You can't tell me anything. <laughs> That's a Taurus baby right there. But look at this with the fur coat, though. Always love rocking the fur. And then the hairstyle that always became my thing was sum up, sum down. This was my go-to at this young age, like in elementary school, and I'm just half up, half down for like the rest of my life. <laughs> but now let's get to middle school, being a teenager, right? Uh, yeah, still stuck with the sum up, sum down. Sometimes I bring out the little curl. Who did the little like, alien antenna curls in the front. They do look super shiny, 
super moisturized. I'm gonna give myself that. And even though I literally wore my hair some up, some down just about every day in middle school, somehow, some way, I still won best hair. <laughs> Little did I know that my curls would one day become my career. Now let's get to high school. The thing I did in high school was to use so much product that my hair was so hard that it literally wouldn't move. So I used to use a gel, mousse, and hairspray to keep it as flat and crunchy as possible. Y'all think I like hold now? Before the goal was for it not to move. I didn't want any volume. Funny how times change. So even on my graduation day, the point was to have my hair as flat as possible to fit it under my graduation cap. But I now have a new and better way to rock your curls on graduation day. So if you guys wanna see that video, come back this Sunday and I'm gonna show you how to rock your curls for graduation without being as flat as I was. Now let's move on down to my college years and a little bit past college. Here is some super rare footage of me with straight hair. This is my hair straight while it was at its longest. I did it maybe once a year and that's only if a friend volunteered and then they would quickly regret it, you know, two hours later. But uh, yeah, here you go. I used to think my hair was like all that in a bag of chips because it does look pretty. It is long, but you could see like my curl pattern is definitely different than it is now. And that's because I was using products with sulfates, parabens, silicones, didn't know what any of that stuff meant. I just was trying to keep the frizz away, but it was definitely not as healthy or at its fullest potential as it is now. But then around this time was when I first was starting my channel and I discovered Shea Moisture. Now my curls are looking more like curls, are looking healthier, I'm using better ingredients. Here's me with a pineapple. It's not even really a pineapple, my hair is so long, it's just like this weird <laughs> long ponytail in the front of my head. So at this point I have a couple videos on my channel, my hair is looking great, I decided to get a trim. And that's when this haircut happened. Comment below if you remember me getting this haircut. If you have seen my horrible diva cut experience video, the first time I thought I was getting a diva cut and I really wasn't, yeah, that's when this, this haircut happened. And this was my new look for a while. And then I got booked as a hair model and that's when this haircut happened. <laughs> That was a toughie. Once I felt those scissors on the back of my neck, I was like, what is he doing? And that was like what I like to call my accidental big chop. My hair was perfectly fine, perfectly healthy. No color, virgin hair, and he cut it all off like to my chin. And it was the first time I ever got highlights. So that was a very drastic moment in my hair life. And I also use that to create new content on my channel to show you my whole hair growth process. And it actually worked out for me. This is the last time I straightened my hair to this day. So I have not straightened my hair in like four years. This was the last time. As you can see, I did a horrible job. It was super frizzy. Some of you were nice enough to let me know in the comments of that video of me straightening my hair. Thanks. But then it started to grow and I was doing deep conditioning treatments every week and I was using good products and I was getting like inspired that it was growing on camera so you guys could actually like see the growth process with me. And I'm really glad that I did it. And then that's when I started playing around with wigs. Once I tried on this straight wig, I was like, why would I ever straighten my hair ever again? And then I just really started to have fun with my curls. I started getting bangs. I started liking more color, and then I started adding more color, and then I went purple. Okay, no, I didn't really go purple. This was just a joke for April Fool's Day. <laughs> I eventually got to the point where I really went blonde. And it's not until I look back at these old photos that I'm like, wow, my hair or my natural hair color really is pretty dark, and I'm pretty blonde right now. Whew, so those are all the stages of Bianca Renee from birth to 30 years old. <laughs> My hair has been through it. So I'm really happy to be able to look back at old photos and see that I didn't just stay 
the same the whole time. It really is fun to branch out and try new things with your hair. I definitely encourage it. Life's too short to have boring hair. So I'm forever grateful to have you guys as my curl friends that have watched my journey from day one. Comment below if you've been here for a while and you've seen my hair transition from dark, dark brown, long, to more volume, to highlights, to blonde. Like, let me know how long you've been here in the Bianca Renee Today family. But let's keep it going by challenging some more of my curl friends. How about Curly Penny? Penny Tovar probably has some really funny hairstyles growing up. Maybe Hi Felicia, I know her transformation is crazy. Maybe India, maybe Chelly's curls, maybe Lisette. Comment below who you want to do this challenge next or tag them on Instagram so they could do this challenge and we could see who has the most embarrassing curly hair photos. Thank you in advance for all the birthday wishes. You guys make every birthday so much more special. And if you want to get me a birthday gift, um, the only thing that I would love is for you to give this video a thumbs up, push that subscribe button, and if it's not too much, push the little bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. That is all I want for my birthday. If you could do that, it won't cost you a thing, but it would mean so much to me. And if you want to give me the greatest gift of all time, you also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.